Hey guys, Sword here, and this is going to be an update of what's been going on in Operation Bedrock. As you can see, we are done with the Skylight number 4. It took us a while. It took us 5 weeks to actually get it done when I thought it would take at least 3 weeks. Sadly, because of work and school and other things that pop up that I only have enough time during the day to actually start playing Minecraft to make a video and from there I go to work and then I go home and that's pretty much it for the day. So, yeah, I couldn't really get that much done in the skylight unless it was actually my day off and depending on how I'm feeling on my day off is whether, whether that we actually start playing Minecraft for the day. Well, at least we managed to get it done, and now we're going to go to make, or we're going to go to the other corner of the world, the last corner of the world, and start making our fifth and final skylight. As far as I know, unless we want to make more skylights, but I don't know how that's going to work. So let's continue on from here. So we're going to go to the other corner of the world. I'm going to show you guys what it takes to actually make a skylight. What I can tell you here right now is that if you're going to make a skylight, it's going to be 52 by 52. And I did mess up in the formation of how I set it up, but it's pretty much like this. 52 for the first block, 51, 51 for the sides, and then the last one would be 50. And of course you're going to need at least probably 10 blocks just to get it from the sea level up of. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like from there. But until then, let's let's get continue on with this thing. I didn't realize how long this recording is going to be, but it's all necessary. So let's see if I could ramble on for 15 minutes. Uh, I didn't actually, I didn't actually plan this out. Ah uh, well, it was a one take, so I'm not gonna take it back. Continuing on from here, all I can say is that skylights. The purpose of the skylight is just pretty much side projects to do within Operation Bedrock. Rather than making tunnels or starting flattening off the surface, it's just something we can do for a while. And since we're gonna be done with the fifth and final skylight, then we're gonna have to figure out on oh, something else to do. I think we could just continue making tunnels like leveling out the last three layers of the world and then from there we'll get a lot of resources of course and we'll just start leveling off from the top to the bottom getting rid of the oceans I already have a plan of what I want to do and until then once we're done with the fifth skylight I'll be doing that while my friends start doing whatever they want to do and for those who are wanting to join me in Operation Bedrock I, pl I ask you kindly to please wait until the summer because I don't know how my daily schedule is going to be once it hits summer I already have plans but I still got to know what it's going to be like for my work schedule because I'm still going to get 30 to 40 hours per week, maybe even less if that we hire more workers or if the summer is just slow. So we, I won't know until then. It's just one of those things. Like if I never actually had work, I would have all the time in the world to play video games every single day. Let's just leave it as that. If I could actually make a career out of video game commentaries and don't have to worry about my primary job then I could actually focus and guarantee a spot and the operations or some other matter 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 whatever it's just how it's been going for me I still get 30 to 40 hours per week on a work schedule so that's what's taking a major chunk out of my daily schedule and then we have school but since summer break is going to be here I'll not have to worry about school for three months so three extra months to do whatever I want and then there's other things I need to do but we'll talk about that later so here we are we are at the other corner of the world and it has a nice little island next to it so let me see let me see if let me see let me see where gotta set it up I accidentally put the torches away even though again I messed up you need 52 51 51 and 50 to make a 52 by 52 borderline if you're gonna make a large if you're gonna if you're just gonna make a large sky like like I did you could do smaller like that if you want to do a 22 by 22 hole so or yeah 22 by 22 border so you can have a 20 by 20 hole then you're just gonna need 22 21 21 and 20 blocks so okay let's continue on so let me see let me see uh, you can barely see it yeah I forgot about that I forgot about the lighting issues underwater so what you're gonna need to do is that you'll see that there's the edge of the world and then there's a block next to it. You have to place the first block on the block that's right by the edge of the world. Simple as that because you won't be able to place any th blocks on the edge of the world. So place a block where you're able to. And just go to the surface. And of course, again, I mess up. There we go. Let me see. Since I put the first block there, it's going to be 51. 
and then from there you could just swim across and do your 51 your 51 placements of blocks and I feel frost is way over there getting chased by spiders alrighty then so yeah this is what you do I'm probably gonna have to make a proper tutorial video this is just not a tutorial video it's just a something to show really I won't call this a tutorial video because I messed it up but if you do want to know how to make a skylight I can make a small little simple tutorial video let's leave it as that so let me see what else maybe I'll do a question of the day today let me see what I, what I can find like I said I didn't plan this out I didn't think that it was gonna take 15 minutes but now that's here I gotta see what to talk about let me see I got a long list of questions how many pages I got nine pages of questions all right, let me see. Who should I answer today? You know what? Let me see. I think there's a question. Awesome RC22 ask. Make a vid about why you don't play with everyone who sends you friend requests. Yeah, that, that's a question I could answer. Is that again? Well, first of all, Sword King 090 is my main account, and that is already full of friends and friend requests, and I can't play with everyone because I can't promise that I will be able to play with everyone because again it's, it's the work and as well as school and then other things that goes on with my life even though it's not much of a life but it still goes on like everybody knows if you're going to school for a lot of reasons you don't have much time to do everything so the reason why I'm not able to play with everyone of course is just the time that I have although it does seem like I have a lot of time it's just not that much I usually get around three to four hours to myself on a given day and luckily sometimes I do get a day off at least one day off per week and on that day off I just want to do something else I want to chill I want to relax I just don't feel like doing other things that I need to be doing it's just one of those days where you need a rest and then of course I made a second account saying that if you want to join me whenever I do set up the account it's sort of King Gaming that is my second Xbox Live account and there's a possibility that it already has a full friends list pending where I have like five friends on there and then I have another 95 friend request waiting for me to get on and start using that account and I'm not officially on that account just yet because I don't want to give people's hopes up it's like oh my god he's online that means he's been inviting people no it's just not that I just need to set up other things so I ask you guys to please wait went until the summer is here so that once it is here I'll know how my work schedule is gonna go I will know what my daily schedule is gonna go at home since I won't be going to school and then I'll know what my video schedule is gonna be regarding to if I'm gonna do the world showcases when I'm gonna do the operations when I'm gonna do all the other stuff that I need to be doing especially like a let's play like if I'm gonna be doing a let's play I'm probably gonna take like a few days off well I'm gonna already have backup videos for those days but I'm still gonna take those days off not working on anything else but for the let's play and I got hit by a spider and oh my god look at all these monsters <laughs> they just spawned I have never seen anything like that of course that I had never really seen anything like that because I'm always in tunnels or if I'm always in a secluded area but that's the first time I've ever seen a mob invasion like that that is that is actually cool I don't know if you could actually see it but the only time when you do see it is when they're on fire so wow I don't know how many zombies were there I saw like two spiders five zombies two skeletons a creeper of course and then another spider that's just a lot I don't know if you can even see it I'm sorry about the lighting I can't wait till I get a better software so I can actually change the tone of the lighting so I can light it up or light it up better and of course the creeper explodes but doesn't do any damages in the water and I'm almost dead because the skeleton has a better advantage on me I'm gonna swim away ah, I need food yep there's some steak that's not enough or just enough I don't even know anymore and then we got another creeper, then we got another spider, and they're all everywhere. Okay. I think it's all good for now. And Frost is over there in the corner with a little, what's it called? Torch over there. Alrighty then. So, I think everything's calmed down. I'm just going to continue fighting off the monsters while I, could, while I still can so I don't die. At least I can, I'm getting a lot of levels from this. I'm, what am I, at level 23? Mm, nice. Alrighty then, continuing on. Let me see where have I left off. 
Yeah, of course. That of course. Okay, let me let me let me see let me see. Let me formulate a proper thought before I start speaking. Otherwise, I'm just gonna start stuttering and just start rambling on something that doesn't make sense at all. Hmm. Alrighty then. More zombies and skeletons. Good to know. So yeah, I'm just really busy. Simple as that. Let's just put it as that. I have a part-time job to maintain. I have a school to go to. And as well as when I do videos is that I spend about two to three hours making a video. And from there, that's it for the day. Then from there, either I continue playing a little bit of Minecraft or play a different game. And then go to work, go back home, have like another two hours. Then relax, take a shower, watch some videos on YouTube, and then go to sleep. If I didn't have school and if I didn't have work, I would probably be playing Xbox 12 to 14 hours a day. And if I put 12 hours a day into Minecraft, just imagine how, how many videos I would get done and imagine how much work and progress can be done in a given day on Minecraft. That's what I'm looking forward to. If I can make a career out of making video game commentaries, like I, I can literally make a living off of just making videos every single day. I would love that, but I gotta work on it. And for those who are supporting me along the way, I thank you greatly for that, for watching my videos, for posting comments, for sharing the videos, for giving the videos a like, for subscribing. I don't ask people to subscribe or anything like that. The only thing I just ask or remind people is to leave a comment or even give a like. And I only put that in the description, like every video you see, you just see, please help my channel and my videos grow by leaving comments and ratings, happy face. That's all I put. I never really ask verbally to do that, but the only thing I do ask is if you want to answer any of the questions that are on hand or the topic at hand. So, yeah. Of course, awesome RC22. I don't think you're actually being mean about it. I know you're not being mean about it, but you you want you really want to know why I don't actually play with everyone. It's just I cannot make any guarantees. Anyone who asks me about if they could join Operation Bedrock or if I could make a video of the world, I always tell them, please wait for the summer. I do not want to make any promises. I do not want to make any guarantees that I will do something about it or that I'll be able to play with you because if I make a promise, if I don't keep it, it's going to look bad on me and as well as it's going to make me feel guilty that I made a promise that I couldn't keep. So I don't want to be doing that. So this is why I haven't really been playing with everybody and as well as that I try not to make too many promises. Although I have made some promises that I haven't kept and already that's already going downhill at that point. Because I got a long list of people wanting to join Operation Bedrock but I haven't even gone back to them yet since day one. And I do apologize for every single one of these people I have mentioned before in my videos. Because back then in the other Operation Bedrock videos I've actually named off all the names off the list and then I pretty much actually stopped updating a list because I've been getting like 50 to well I usually get around 50 messages asking for me to add them onto Operation Bedrock. It used to be like 1 to 5 a day and now it gets to 10 to 20 a day and since I'm making more videos and getting more requests I can't keep up with it anymore otherwise then I'm just going to be skipping names by accident and rather than just doing that I just stopped updating the list. I still have the list. It's on my backup hard drive. I just gotta find it right now. But there's a lot of people that are, have actually been with me since day one and they started mes messaging me back again. So I do appreciate that you're still sticking with me even though I have not yet to invite you guys. A few of them I'm gonna be doing a world showcase of. A few of them I'm gonna be inviting to Operation Bedrock or the other operations for that matter. But again, it's all gonna be in it's not going to be until the summer until everything is set up and ready and let's see where we go from here otherwise then I'll be making promises that I can't keep so let's see how well that's going to be I wonder how if it, that is what a lot of people who are well known have to experience now I now know what they what they deal with I'm not saying that in a mean manner but that's what they deal with they deal with a lot of people that ask to join them or ask to play with them on the video game so let's see how well we're gonna go from here and I'm just being honest right now I'll probably make another video about it too but until then that's all I have to say because I'm running out of time have a nice day everybody